So the latest T-Rex Miner actually does something pretty interesting. Uh, this is T-Rex Miner 0 0.24.2. Uh, it, it has a feature on this called auto-tuning. No, yeah, not, not the auto-tuning that you hear for music, but this auto-tuning is very interesting and very cool the way that it works. And the reason why is because for me in particular, this actually helps a lot when I'm recording videos. So we're going to take a look at this. We're going to explain what it's doing, how it works, and have some fun with this. Before we begin, make sure you're hitting the thumbs up. Subscribe if you guys are new. There's a lot of you guys who are not yet subscribed to the channel. Hopefully you guys can subscribe today. And time for some shameless plugging. If you want to support the channel, you can do so by clicking that join button. Or you can hit the give thanks button or a thanks button or whatever it's called. It's leaving a tip to the channel. That helps out as well. Uh, that's made available from YouTube. So, yeah, if you want to do that, by all means. Anyways, let's go ahead and switch this camera over so we can take a look at what's going on here. So this is uh, this is me mining with the T-Rex Dual Miner right now. Um, it's mining Ethereum and and uh, Conflux direct to NiceHash. Okay, the reason why this is cool, for me anyways, I don't know, maybe you guys might not find it so interesting. Uh, as you can see here, the... The hash rate that I'm getting is much lower than expected because I'm currently recording videos, right? So if I'm recording a video, it's going to have a lower hash rate. Uh, something else that you might notice, the LHR section, uh, it says 31 next to it. So when you start mining on, um, when you start mining on the T-Rex miner for the dual miner, it automatically defaults to LHR 30. Now. It will automatically start auto-tuning this either down or up depending on if you hit an LHR limiter or not. So if you hit an LHR limiter, for example, it's going to start going down until it bypasses that limiter. So it'll go down to 30, uh, 29, 28, so on and so forth. And it will automatically try to tune the GPU so that way you can still mine with, your, with the intended hash rate. Uh, the other thing that I've noticed is that it will tune it up. So currently it's at tuning at 31. So it tuned it up because, like I said, default tuning is 30. So at best that I can see the reason why it tuned it up is because there was probably room to do so. So meaning that I could get a little bit more hash rate and because I haven't hit that limiter. So it tuned it up to LHR 31. I've actually had it go up to LHR 34, uh, which was really nice because then my Ethereum hash rate went up to like 18 mega hash and then the Octopus miner uh, stayed around like 28 mega hash. So it was actually really cool uh, the way that, that it was working. Right now it's not going to tune up. I, I was actually expecting it to tune down because I'm currently recording the video, but apparently it's holding steady at 31. Now, the other thing to keep in mind too is, um, is the uh, the I was gonna say the hash rate is the overclock settings, right? So I I left the overclock settings alone. I put it at what the recommended overclock settings were from the T-Rex Miner uh, wiki. They said that to leave the core clock at zero, memory clock 1300, power limit 60. I left it there. I set it up, and I seem to be getting the best results from that because if I if I increase the power limit now, see, this is, this was a thing that I had to do when T-Rex Miner 0 0.24 released in order to get the hash rate that they were saying on the wiki page, I had to increase my power limit. Uh, but this time around, I don't have to touch my power limit. I can leave it down to 60 and it will auto tune it to wherever it needs to go. It's a very, very cool uh, system that they have. And honestly, I said this before that it's, it's all stepping stones, right? It's all stepping stones building on top of each other, one, one on top of the other to be able to crack this whole LHR issue. Uh, I know a lot of you guys in the comment section were saying, well, why can't it do LHR 70% and then the other one 30%? And I kind of agree with you, but I see why they don't do it that way, why they do it opposite, where it's 30% Ethereum and then 70% whatever other coin. Uh, the reason why I see they do it that way is because once you start getting to that 70% uh, 
uh, mark held even at the 68% mark, you're, you're getting way too close to that LHR limiter. And that would then start causing issues with the way that things work, right? So maybe 50-50 because you're not pushing to that limiter. But here's the other issue too. The other issue that we ran into with the, uh, with the, pre the, the previous LHR limiters at the 70%, the problem that we ran into there is that it wasn't stable. Right, so the temps would continuously go up and down. The uh, the GPU clocks would go crazy on the core clock, the memory clock, things like that. Right, so like it was not stable, constantly moving. And so this way, it seems to be stable. My memory clocks never change. My core clock, I mean, core clock's always going to change a little bit here and there, but it's nothing crazy. My temps stay the same. You know, things like that is is what I look for. You know, I want it to be stable and all things like that. Now, I, I know a lot of you guys are saying, oh, but that uh, that efficiency is horrendous. You know, Ethereum at 101 kilowatt, uh, you know, per kilowatt hour. Um, the uh, the Octopus Miner at 188 kilowatts, uh, you know, per kilowatt hour. Yeah, I, I, I see that. I see that. Um, I don't have the equipment to be able to test to see if it is drawing more power. I don't know. Uh, I reached out to Seb. Uh, I sent him a tweet to see if he might be able to do it, if he has the equipment to do it. Um, I think he does. I'm pretty sure he does. Hopefully, he makes a video on that. Um, and if he does, I will share it on my community post because I'm I'm very uh, not concerned, but I am in interested to find out what uh, what's going on here as far as the power draw, right? Like, is it drawing more power? And then compare it to, you know, if it's, if you're mining a single coin, does it draw the same amount of power if you're mining a single coin or uh, is it drawing more power? So things like that, I would love to be able to test, but I don't currently have the equipment to do that. I would love to hook up a voltmeter to my, to my power strip. I just, I just don't have that. So with that being said... Thank you so much for watching the video today. I appreciate it. This is, like I said, this is really cool for me anyways, because when I'm, when I'm recording videos and stuff, usually it'll start auto tuning, like it'll start tuning down so it can bring up the hash rate. Uh, but I mean, it's, it's not moving from the 31, which is fine, but thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. Hit the thumbs up, subscribe. If you guys are new. A lot of you guys are not yet subscribed. Do that, do it, hit it on the subscribe and leave me a comment down below. Have you noticed the LHR auto-tune and has it made a difference for you? I want to know down in the comment section below. That's your homework for today. With that, guys, thank you once again. And everybody, happy mining.